Hello everyone, this is Nina Naika Katadman from BITC T Evening. So for today's video, I'm going to share with you how to reassemble a computer. In this video, we'll examine the different elements which constitute a computer, from the most external components you all know, to the most internal which allow it to work. So here is a classic computer. Here, we have the big box we call the computer system unit, a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, and an external hard drive. These last components are called external peripheral devices. They can be input devices like the keyboard, the mouse, or a camera or a scanner. They can also be output devices like a monitor or a printer. And there are input or output devices like the external hard drive for instance with which we can read information at the input and write information at the output. All these external peripheral devices are plugged into the back of the computer, into sockets named ports. So I've turned the computer around and you can see here, all the connections made at the back of the computer system unit. Most of these connections are provided by sockets called ports. Here we can see a USB port for the external hard drive, but also for the mouse. Here a PS2 port of the keyboard. And here DVA ports to which the monitor is plugged. But there are also other ports like the firewire ports. And here a specific port, an Ethernet port. Which demonstrates that the internet can also be seen as a peripheral device external to the computer. Now, let's look at what happens inside the computer system unit. There are many things inside this computer system unit, but let's begin with the connection to the outside. Here, we have the power supply which is plugged into this power supply unit. All the cables of a certain color will carry electricity to the different internal components of the computer. The monitor here is plugged into this element which is the video card. At last, the other elements, the keyboard, the mouse and the hard drive are plugged into this big plate. We see at the bottom that is called the motherboard. The different elements here are thus the power supply, the video card and the motherboard at the bottom. But there are other elements. Here we have a DVD player or burner drive and a floppy disk drive and we can see their power. And here we have a two hard drives. Actually these different elements are like a peripheral devices. But in turn this time, we can see they are powered. And this blue cable here or this green ribbon here, connect them to the motherboard thanks to internal ports this time. We can remove them to better see the computer core. I will also remove this big block here which consists of a fan and of a calling system for the central processing unit CPU. That's it. So I remove the DVD burner and the floppy disk drives as well as the power supply. The big cooling block here, I can remove it. You can see the CPU below and the remaining element is a fan. I've also removed the two hard drives. I kept one. To show you that it's connected to the motherboard with a port. But there's more. We can see the motherboard a little better. But there are still circuits. I've already talked about some of them. Here the video card and here a card with which the firewall ports can be controlled. So I'll remove those elements. Which are still not part of the computer core. We're almost done and here are the essential elements of a computer with hard drives which are the mass storage but I can remove them and printed circuit aboards here which I can also remove It's the random access memory the RAM
That's it. We remove all the internal peripheral devices. And there are two elements left. Here, the motherboard, and in particular, little electronic circuits here. With which the different ports we could see from outside are managed. They are called controllers. And finally, the only element that really matters is this here, the CPU. Here is the heart of the computer. It's the CPU. I open the protection cover and I can remove the CPU. We can see here it's connected to the motherboard with numerous little legs that act like ports. So this CPU is really the central unit, the essential computing unit of the computer. Even inside the CPU, we will find a specific design with memory areas named catches and several computer units, usually many, which work simultaneously to be more efficient. So if I zoom out on the computer now, we can see the central element that is the link between all the other elements of the computer, it's the motherboard. So it is first connected the CPU. The fundamental element which communicates via the motherboard with internal peripheral devices such as RAM or hard drives. The video card, the DVD burner drive, but also with the external devices through port controllers which can be seen at the back of the computer.